we are, about three and a half kilometres from Whitby along the Holderness coastline, heading towards Robin Hood's Bay. Here along the Holderness coastline, as I said in my previous video, this whole coastal system is heavily influenced because of its rock type. Now it has a very soft rock, as I've said previously, with erosion rates around two metres per year on average, being some of the highest erosion rates in, the, in Europe. But if we're looking here, different landforms are created at different coastlines. And we've got two main types of coastline to consider when looking at the geology of an area. The first one is a concordant coastline. A concordant coastline is where you have rock strata running parallel to the coastline. So you've got layers of hard rock followed by soft rock, followed by hard rock, followed by soft rock. The type of landforms you'll have created here will be wave cut platforms where at a horizontal dip, like I mentioned in my previous video, you can see the extensions is the case here as well, where you've got those layers of strata running horizontally to the coastline. You have an area of erosion, hydraulic action, abrasion, which will impact a fracture in the rock, a joint, a crack, what have you. That will be exposed through that explosion taking place, rocks being thrown at it from abrasion, where this hole gets bigger and bigger, the crack gets bigger and bigger, creating what's known as a wave cut notch. Over time, this wave cut notch will get exposed higher and higher rates of erosion, and suddenly above it, the land, the cliff, will not be able to support the weight of this, and it will simply collapse because of gravity. Over time, as this cliff is now retreated inland, it creates at the below point what is known as a wave cut platform, and that is only visible at low tide. And even though we are here at a discordant coastline, because of the high rates of erosion impacting the Holdness coastline, we can see in the distance this wave cut platform where the, cliff, the coastline has eroded inland, creating that coastline where a low tide here looking like that in the distance. But then you have the second type, and that is a discordant coastline. This is when you have alternating bands of hard and soft rock. So you have your hard rock, soft rock, hard rock, soft rock. And what happens when the sea is coming in, like we've got here, maybe you have a destructive or constructive wave, usually destructive wave, as the wave comes in, it will erode the soft rock through hydraulic action, abrasion, and it will leave the hard rock as an outcrop known as a headland. The soft rock being eroded inwards, as we can see just in here, creates what is known as a bay. So we've got erosion being a dominant force affecting coastlines such as this, and in my next video, we're going to consider other factors such as weathering and mass movement and how the rainfall can affect areas and coastlines such as this. Some great geography in action.